If you happen to catch my most recent video, I took a trip to Micro Center and I tried to get my mod in Discord, an RTX 3080. And guys, when I went here, I happened to talk to one of the employees and I got some insider scoop information. Some, some stuff that's not been really rumbling around with graphics cards that I think, you know, some people may be happy to hear. But there's also some bad stuff, too, that we should talk about. So let's talk about that. But first, uh, our sponsor. This video is brought to you by CDK Deals. CDK Deals is a website that provides games and other software for a really good price. And right now, you can get a Windows 10 Pro key for under $17. Just apply my special discount code, receive 25% off, and check out securely with PayPal. Once the payment is cleared, you'll be given a code in your account as well as an email. To activate, all you need to do is search activate in your Windows search bar, click the activate settings, and type in your key. To learn more, check the links below. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today we are going to be talking about graphics cards and the state that they're in and where it looks like we might be headed with graphics cards. Now, as I mentioned before, I did make a trip recently to Micro Center trying to get my mod in my Discord, uh, an RTX 3080. I tried to go get him one. And guys, you know, if you want to check that video out, you're welcome to do so. I'll have it linked up there. But I happened to speak to one of the employees at Micro Center. And this guy seemed to be fairly knowledgeable. And according to the information I got from him, well, graphics cards might begin to become more and more available. Well, much sooner than people are, have been anticipating. The demand for graphics cards has not been able to be satisfied with all of the different factors and perfect storms with shortages of different uh, semiconductors or upcharges in different parts for making these cards and demand being absolutely skyrocketed through the roof with cryptocurrencies and mining. So many different factors being involved that have really just made this the perfect storm of GPU apocalyptica it really has been. It's been really tough for people to get graphics cards and a lot of the different things that we've been seeing have talked about graphics cards not being able to get them really, them being widely available for another year. But guys, after talking to the guy over at Micro Center, I don't know that that's going to be the case. Now, when I did speak to this guy, I do want to clarify that he did share with me that they have really been having a consistent flow of graphics cards coming in. And those graphics cards are to be included of 3080s. And I asked why this was, why this he believed that this was going on. And he let me know that they have some sort of inventory roundup going on currently where they are trying to make sure they get everything out of their inventory for all the micro centers around. So you guys have seen different videos, different people posting stuff saying that, hey, micro centers got stuff. Micro centers got stock. You can get you can get GPUs. And guys, this has continued to stay true. Now, according to the employee that I spoke with, he believes that if things continue to go the way they are, I mean, keep in mind, guys, this is a this is a man that's seeing it firsthand. The people that are coming in trying to buy cards and seeing how much cards are coming in on the daily. So this is I mean, you're getting some really ear to the ground information here. So I, I, I feel comfortable taking his word on this, but he believes that we could see the demand being met if it continues to meet the same trend that we're seeing right now within six months that you should be able to go ahead and buy a graphics card anytime you want. And within six months, if things continue to go the way they are, which sounds great. It does. And I, I'm glad to hear that. And I hope that this, this continues to happen. But that's not all we talked about. We didn't just talk about graphics cards and when he thinks their demand's going to be met. We also talked about some prices. And according to him, and I am inclined to agree, and Paul's Hardware, uh, not Paul's Hardware, it was not an Apple fan, actually talked about this. And he said, after I asked him, you know, do you think we're going to see prices begin to come down? Are we going to see a drop in prices? And according to him, he does not believe that we will ever 
see graphics cards come back down to those prices that we were seeing before. And this is attributed to scalpers and us as consumers because we have shown these bigger retailers that people are willing to pay these premium prices so they're going to charge them and you know i would like to think that desperate times caused for desperate measures and i don't necessarily want to believe that we would continue to do this if you know we were not given the choice and that's all we had regardless of the circumstances but honestly i think we will I think people will continue to pay those prices. You're always going to have somebody that's willing to pay the price and say they want to just sit on the sideline and wait, but we've become a, a people that do not want to wait, and they want what they want, and they want it now. And guys, we show, we showed them. We showed them. We, are, we exposed ourselves like crazy buying from these scalpers in these secondhand markets that were just upcharging the crap out of these things to the point that MSI, Asus, all these other people decided that they were going to, you know, do the same. Scalp in, get in on the scalping, make some of that extra money too. Now, that's not to say that we still won't see some sort of MSRP prices with we when we're talking about Founders Edition. So, you know, I still believe that we will see much, much lower on those. But keep in mind, guys, those typically aren't easy to get. You don't see them too much. And the only place to really buy any of those has been places like Best Buy. So those aren't typically the cards that you see going for that true MSRP price. So, you know, it's I guess there's there's still hope going forward. But if you're trying to stick to ASUS, guys, just understand you are going to be paying a premium at least that's what it looks like going forward, and that's not going to change. It doesn't look like GPU prices will be coming down. Ever. Ever. So, thanks a lot, scalpers. Now, there were other things that we spoke about, like semiconductor shortages or wafer shortages and manufacturers between those. But I was particularly interested in the tariffs, because this is something that I have... I always thought was just some BS charge or was just something that they were just conflating to excuse their overcharging that they were putting on everybody. But the employee let me know, like, no, these are legit. It's about a 25% increase across the board for everybody. And Micro Center is not making money off of that. Micro Center does not make money off of cards. They usually break even. And in some cases, they even lose money due to something known as interchange. And if you're not familiar with this, well, basically, anytime you use your credit card or your debit card, Visa and banks, whatever, they charge money to actually process that payment. So money gets taken away from the uh, merchant every time you use a credit card or debit card. In case you guys didn't know, they get charged for that. So you may see some things like uh, gas stations are a great example where they have credit a different price per gallon than they do for cash per gallon. And you, you guys may have noticed that, but that's because of interchange. So Micro Center is for the most part, breaking money, breaking uh, even here or losing money on these graphics cards. So, you know, I, I feel like this guy knows what he's talking about here in that regard. So tariffs are legit. Um, one of the things that could, I guess, be argued is this is kind of uh, speculation on his part, but he let me know. Uh, MSI charges about 27, 28 percent uh, tariff instead of that 25 across the board. And he believes this is because they're using that extra to outbid other manufacturers for parts to actually be able to continue and make cards and he believes this is why he sees msi as one of the most cards that come in it's one of the most sold cards so you know guys this is what's going on this is what's happening in the background graphics cards they should be continually available they should be continuing to move toward easily uh, readily available for you guys to buy online because scalpers can't really sell them anymore and you know prices aren't coming down and tariffs are real so there it is this it's the inside scoop that's what i got guys Hopefully, you know, 
prices, you know, are what they are. But availability is a great thing to see. And hopefully we can get back to building PCs because that'd be great. I'd like to do that. Would you like to see that? I hope so. Well, guys, that's all I got. Like, subscribe, something. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers so I can get a cool play button. Share the videos. I don't know. Tell your buddies. <laughs>